Howdy folks, welcome back to Transport Fever 2. Today we're down here at this Conmat plant and we're going to redo this whole area. It's kind of grown organically and it just doesn't make any sense anymore. We're at the uh, Fort Lauderdale construction materials. Um, and it, yeah, like I said, it just needs redone. We've got these lines and they come through the station. There's no, there's no rhyme or reason to it, except it just kind of grew organically over the years, but we're going to wipe all this out and redo it, but I'm waiting for this train to fill up. Because I'm not sure if I delete this track, if it'll move it to another track. I'm not 100% 100% sure. But we're going to completely redo this area. That's going to be the focus of today's video. Come on, train. It's almost loaded up. This combat plant is tapped out. I just switched the Green Bay Conmat line over to these new trucks. The Cascadia it says tarpaulin truck, but it's not really a tarpaulin truck. All right, two more and then this thing will head out. Beautiful. So I was wanting to get no trains in this area. And then I'm going to pause. That may be tricky. <laughs> We've got trains going every which way, but there's no reason for these to come through here. Uh, so we're going to have the high speed line. Hey, new bus. Which doesn't do anything here. It just goes straight over to these two. And we'll redo this. I think it's surprise. Does it go out to surprise? Uh, yeah, surprise comment. We'll have that take a slightly different route as well. All right, so as soon as this guy gets off the map, I'm gonna redo all this. All right, we got nobody else coming in. I'll let him get over there and pause. So I'm gonna start deleting stuff and it's gonna get messy. The game is gonna get very unhappy with me. But that's okay. We'll put it all back. This is so loud. Woo! So I got a lot of deleting to do. Let me get that all done, and I'll bring you all back in. Okay, that was a lot of deleting, but we've got a pretty clean slate now. So what we need is these two like come together and then come across over to there. So let's grab the high speed track. I'm not sure how you say that. I've always said catenary, but I don't think that's right. Might have to look that up someday. All right, so. Let's grab some track and just get an idea. It's a lot of uh, 90 speed. We don't want that. So we'll probably want to follow all of the land a little bit. We maintain that high speed. Let me take a look at the height. So that is pretty high there. Whoa, game gets a little laggy. So we're at 22 here. So it is coming downhill quite a bit. All right. Oops. I mean to do that. So 
So I don't think that's terrible. Let's go with that. We hook into there. Got some fill there. And the frame rate just goes completely kaput doing this. <laughs> I'd hate to see that on a, a less powerful machine. All right, so now we got that line through to there. Um, this, this is actually kind of set up wrong, isn't it? I didn't, I just now realized that. This ought to have the through tracks be the high speed in case we do eventually want to go through. Let's waste some more money. It's just money. So I guess we can't upgrade the tracks. We have to like literally delete them. Like that, okay. Fair enough. Then we want the high speed track. Because we may eventually have passenger trains going through here. Right now they terminate here, but things could change in the future. Let's do that. Crossover set up. One-way signal, and then we're, we're golden there. Now we need some other signals, but I'm going to wait until we get this thing figured out. Do I want it to go underneath here? Let's take a, oops, let's take a look at our... So we're at 8 meters there. We're all the way up at 15 here, so we may want to do... Uh, even a little more changes. So let's get the normal track. Well, here, let's redo this. We only need one platform right here. Um, I don't remember why I did two here. I'd have to go back and look at the prior episodes. But we just need one terminal, so. And that's already high speed track, so I'll just leave it high speed track, even though it doesn't need to be. And if we come out of here with our standard track, something like that, and be sharp there because we're getting ready to. Uh, turn or stop at the station anyway. So if I come up here, I want to go underneath. Can I go underneath? Oh, I was doing the wrong thing. My bad. Hey man. So that will tunnel underneath. Uh, done. Whee! <laughs> so then we're gonna have to rise up to this level. It means we're gonna have to redo this. Oh shoot, I accidentally deleted that one. Did 
they despawn. I think that's one of my inner city. Intra city. There we go. Okay, now the fun part. How do we get over to here? I think there's a mod that tells you your slope and stuff. This may be a completely horrendous slope, but it is what it is. And we'll just have to see if it works out. It will have to slap a more powerful engine on here. We only have one train right now, but we might have more in the future. Okay, so that hooks that back up. Uh, we lost our train depot here, but that might be okay. Uh, we need to get this line connected back in. Might make more sense just to come off of here. We'll do high speed at first. All right, why can you not? Yeah, there you go, just do that. Beautiful. We need a signal there and a signal there. A heck of a cut. <laughs> oh well. I haven't been about beauty on this uh, playthrough. Maybe I'll do a playthrough where we do things realistically and, and pretty. But... Actually, I'm going to come out a little bit. That'll work, and then throw our signal down there. And everybody's happy now. So that means this road was just a cosmetic road? Or what? No way, that's one of my vehicles. Oh, did it reroute around? Just rerouted around because it had another path. So we need to get this road back. Okay, well let's do let's do a little road work. So if we come over here, small country road. I never did upgrade this road, did I? All right, let's push you all the way back to there. And we're eventually heading over to that. So let's see. <laughs> uh, 
I don't think that's going to work, game. Right, well, let's come to, say, here. And we're going to cross over. Does that let the trains through? It kind of looks like it lets the trains through. Done. We'll have it curve a little bit right there, and then let's go back to like pretty much straight. We need to go under this road, this railroad. Collision. Why are you at collision? So it has to be a tunnel? What am I missing here, game? Okay, whatever. I'm tired of fighting with you. Oh, wait, that's not what I wanted to do, is it? That's diving straight into the ground. <sighs> okay. Go be a tunnel. There we go. That's more what I was looking for. Nope, oh, that's not what I wanted. All right, fine. Beautiful. Hook you up. Okay, now that's restored. Um, I'll get these hooked up. I know you don't need these connected, but it makes me feel better. Okay, so now our line is reconnected a more direct route instead of going all the way over here. I think, other than some other signals, it should be about what we need. Let those come through there. Uh, I don't think we have a, a train depot on this line, but we can build one next time. We need to actually add a train. Uh, let's turn it on and see what happens. <laughs> that was a lot. That was a lot of deleting and, and re-adding and and stuff. So we got lines. We got the plastic line coming through. Is anybody stuck? I don't think anybody's stuck. Yep, 
you're just climbing the hill the best you can. This is a passenger train that I've redone. I did have it double-headed with more cars, but it just was never filling up, so... Went back to the single loco. I think I saw a comment about you can double head, and yeah, I, I know you can double head. I'm not sure if I have... Do I have anybody double heading right now? I have here and there. Uh, if we look at just... Uh, trains. Yeah, I don't think we have anybody... I mean, this technically is an MU because it has can go both directions, I think. Maybe not. Uh, I don't think anybody's double-heading right now, but I, I definitely did that at some point. I, it may not have been in an episode. We got a lot of people waiting there, don't we? Uh, there's, there's always so much to do. Once you get this much stuff going on on a map, there's always things to be tweaked. But I'm going to speed this up. Just make sure everything's flowing the way it should. This passenger line should be a lot faster. This plastic line should be faster. Because they're not dipping down through here for no reason. This bus line might be a little longer, but we'll see how it goes. Uh, so here comes the surprise Conmat train. Watch it blast out of the tunnel here. Thanks, autosave. Way to ruin the moment. I want to see if this train can actually make it back up that hill <laughs> in a reasonable amount of time. Now, we'll have him pull in. It's going to take a little while to get loaded up. Uh, this Conmat plant is just about fully strapped out. I think I have too many trucks now on this line. Should probably just look at the numbers, but that's no fun. Went to eight, but... Let's sell you back. I don't want a bunch waiting in line. So I'm going to let this run while this train fills up, and then we'll see how it does getting out of here up that slope. So I'll be back in a bit. All right, 144. We are fully loaded. Let's see how the train does heading up this slope. Uh, it's up to 52 kilometers an hour already. That's not too bad. But this is quite a slope right in here. I believe. It looks like it anyway. Let's hop up here underneath the uh, highway bridge. There we go. So if I hide that... Yeah, it hides that as well. Okay. I wanted to leave this up so I could see the speed. It's not too bad. It's accelerating, so... That's something. Yeah, I think it'll be all right. Yeah, it gets up to max speed. So, not a problem. How about you, Mr. Plastic Train? You're doing all right. Chugging away. All right, let's head it up on towards Surprise. So I'm going to call that a win. Mission accomplished. <laughs> Smoothed out that line. This line doesn't interfere with that line. So I think that'll be it for this episode. Uh, there's, there's a ton more of this. I could probably do another 20 or 30 episodes on just cleaning up things, but uh, probably won't. Just going to keep chugging on. We're almost to the year 2000, so we'll kind of see where we're at as we ease on into the uh, 21st century. And I'll take a look around the map. There's probably some other trouble points that we could address. 
So yeah, until then, thanks as always for watching. And I will catch you next time. Let's watch this, watch this passenger train roll by.